Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have a low carb keto grocery haul that I want to share with you guys. If you're new to my channel, I do all keto related videos. So what I eat in a day, recipes, blood glucose and ketones tests. Make sure you subscribe so when I upload, you'll be the first to know. I have an Instagram page I like for you to follow. I'll have my name right here. I post on my stories daily. So if you want to see before and after pictures or pictures of my family, you can go over there and check me out. If you're looking for a group to join so you can have encouragement and support from other people doing a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle then you might want to check out my Facebook group it's an amazing group of people and there are no keto police so I'm gonna have that in the description box for you so all you need to do is just click on that and it'll take you right on over Before I get started with today's grocery haul I did want to let you know that I have a discount code with perfect keto this week it's by five items save 35% off. So I'm going to have everything in the description box that you're going to need, link and discount code. Right now is the best time to go stock up on your collagen, your base, your cookies, your bars, anything that you might need. This discount code does not come around often, so stock up while you can. Buy five, save 35%. I did run in Target for a few things, $88 later, not for just this, but <laughs> I had to pick up some macadamia nuts. These are the ones I got. This is the only place I can find macadamia nuts in my area. I know a lot of you are like, Costco has them. In case you don't know, we do not have a Costco in the Tri-Cities in Tennessee, so no Costco. These have no extra ingredients other than macadamia nuts and sea salt. They also had one that was salt and pepper flavored, but I detest pepper. So I picked these up. These were $10.99. And then I went ahead and picked up some more of the Quest bars. Briley loves this flavor. This is the Peanut Chocolate Crunch. And we've never tried these. These are the Chocolate Mixed Nuts. Right now they have buy one, get one 30% on their Quest products and several other bars. I think these run around $7.99 a piece. And you get five bars in each. They do have these, I think, in two other flavors in the store. I have done a blood glucose test on these. It was a collab with Nicole Burgess. If you want to go check that out, I'll have it in the cards up here for you. So you can just click on that and it'll take you over there and show how these affect your ketones and your blood glucose. Here's the Aldi haul and they had some new items I'm excited to talk about. So let's start at the beginning right here. They had in finally at my store, the Fit and Active Low Carb Tortilla Wraps. I went ahead and got three. I'm gonna give Preston one, mom can have one and we'll try one. These are only four net carbs per wrap. Over here, I'm going to see if I can zoom in on the ingredients. If anybody wants to look at those, I know the laundry list of ingredients is long. And then here is the macros. Each one is 80 calories, two fat, and two protein. A lot of people have been telling me that they have been finding these on one of the end caps with all the other tortilla shells, but at my store, they were with the bread and the baked goods. They were on the bottom shelf. They had a ton of them. Again, I got three. These are a lot cheaper than the Olay and also the Missions Low Carb. These are only $1.99. Crossing my fingers, they're just as good. Veggies that I picked up. I went ahead and got some jalapenos so I can make some jalapeno poppers. I think these were $0.69 cents this week. We love the jalapeno poppers. We just make them in the air fryer. I've shown that in a ton of different videos. I also picked up a steamable bag of asparagus. I'll just put this in the microwave and steam it like it says. When it gets done, I'll pull that out, add butter, salt, and we're done. Brussels sprouts. I love picking up the Brussels sprouts because they're only about $1.19 and that is really cheap. As far as Brussels sprouts go, I'll just put these from frozen in a skillet and they'll either be bacon grease or oil or butter in there and I'll just crisp these up until they are brown all over because we like them crispy. And then again, we'll add some more butter and pink salt. I did go ahead and pick up zucchini because it's one of my favorite vegetables. I just don't buy it enough because I'm pretty much the only one that eats it when Chris isn't here. This was only like $1.19 too. So I went ahead and got this one. It's got four in there. So we'll eat that one night. And I think that's all the veggies. I did pick up a bag of shredded mozzarella just because I didn't feel like shredding my own. And I'm going to make up some little mini lasagnas and freeze those. 
just to see how they're gonna do. And when we reheat them with the palmini noodles to see if they're still good, that way when the kitchen, boom, <laughs> gets demolished and we are living without a stove, I'll see if these are gonna toast up really well and cook up in the toaster oven. This was brand new. I have never seen this before, never even seen it hauled yet. These are the Elevation Protein Meal Advanced Bars and it says Keto Support. You know anything that says Keto is usually ridiculous. There are five bars in here and they had these in two different varieties and they were $5.99. So I think one was the chocolate granola and then this one was the chocolate peanut butter. Each one of these is four net carbs, 18 protein, and two total sugars. Let's look at the micros on the back. One bar is 240 calories, 13 fat, and 23 total carbs, seven sugar alcohol, 12 dietary fiber, and we already talked about 18 of protein. Here is your laundry list of ingredients, but you know, I just skimmed over it. I don't think I saw anything extremely scary like sugar or maltodextrin. They do have sucralose as a sweetener, but I really don't see anything else that's really scary compared to some of their other bars. So I wanted to go ahead and pick these up and we'll see if the girls like them. If you're interested, I may even do a blood glucose test on these, just let me know. Speaking of keto products, they do have their keto ice cream. They have three different varieties. I picked up the mint chocolate chip and also the peanut butter fudge. They have it in a cookie dough, but the girls do not like the cookie dough. Each serving of this ice cream is five net carbs. So this is more of a low carb diet kind of thing. I've done a blood glucose test on these too if you wanna see what that looks like. But the girls eat these more than I do cause they are doing more low carb. But definitely if you can fit five net carbs into your macros and you're doing keto, these are the ones to pick up. This was the main reason I went to Aldi. We were completely out of butter. So these are only $2.99 there. Did I mention that these are only $3.99? I'm not sure. And I don't feel like that's really bad for a keto friendly or low carb ice cream in the pot. Okay, anyways, only $2.99 for four sticks of butter. I do get the unsalted because we add just pink salt to everything anyways. And these are the ones that we like. So just went ahead and picked up two. And then I did get some chicken tenders. Here's what they look like. And I plan on making some kind of fried chicken with those this week. I love their chicken tenders. Not really expensive. And these will go a long way with just the three of us eating. Now, Aldi always suckers me in to other items like a leaf blower or chainsaw or picnic table. <laughs> They got me today with, I needed some kitchen towels, and every time I go to Walmart or Target, I keep forgetting, and they had these sitting right there. So this was a two pack, it was $3.99, and these are pretty large. I like the color too, so I went ahead and picked them up. And right beside the kitchen towels, check this out. It's little like silicone, well, probably not silicone, but it is one cup microwave bakeware. So you can make your little mug cakes in these and they'll come out with these patterns. Is that not absolutely adorable? I hope these are my, oh yeah, dishwasher safe, good. And freezer safe and of course microwave safe. They did have them in two different colors at my store. They had this one and a navy and the navy was a different design. So they had two different designs. I just picked this one up because it matched the kitchen towels. But is that not going to make the cutest little mug cake? I'm excited to try these. And then I just went ahead and picked up some of their plates. These are the ones I like because they're the 8.6 inch. Sam's didn't have any this size last time I went. They had like the 10 inch and those are just too big. I mean, you gotta put a lot of food on there. <laughs> you get 45 of these, they're like $1.79. It says they are comparable to Dixie. I can attest to the fact that these are extremely heavy duty and sturdy. We adore these. And then I went ahead and got another thing of their plastic silverware. This one is the 96 clear forks. It was on sale this time too for $3 and something. And I'm just stockpiling some of these up for when we do the kitchen remodel. So when we have no kitchen, we're gonna have no sink in here. We're gonna have no dishwasher. So we're gonna be going through a lot of stuff like this. I'm just trying to get one every time we go because it's gonna be a long two or three months. And I know I'm gonna go through a ton of this stuff. Okay, that is everything that I picked up at Aldi this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what's on your grocery list this week. I need some inspiration. I feel like everything is on repeat at this point.
Make sure you subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye.